my relationship with God, my deep love for God is because he loves me. He is my creator. Um, of all the things created on this planet, we are the ones that he gave the free will to love him or not. Not even animals change their mind about um, who they are, but we, of course, have the option to love him or not. So I try to make sure that I am intentional about loving God every day, not just asking God for stuff, but really asking God, like, what can I, how can I surrender my life to you, God? How can my life be pleasing? How can I be a reflection of you? How can I minimize my desire and make sure it aligns with what you want for me? Because what God wants for me is much better and bigger than what I want for myself. So I don't have to be afraid. What if it's too much? If it's too much, he's going to equip me. What if I can't do it? I can because I can do all things through Christ. So see, my love for God fuels everything. It is the most important thing. And if you're afraid of this intense relationship of really falling in love and they're going to say I'm too deep, who cares? Shallow isn't awesome in the first place. So saying that I'm deeply in love with God, understanding the creator and him understanding me and me walking closely with him keeps me out of the grasp of the enemy, keeps me out of the mindset of trying to be more like the world and what every uh, what everybody else is saying. I want to be kingdom minded. I don't. I, well, I understand the culture. That is not my that's not my pro priority. The kingdom is. And making sure I'm pushing God's agenda because everyone else is pushing their agenda. So my love for God and his love for me is the fuel for everything. And I hope it becomes your fuel as well. That is my love talk for the day, ladies and gentlemen.